I said this a few times this year, but you essentially function as the point guard in the half court. Would you would you say that's true? Yeah, because Zach is more, Zach can obviously play play make, but he he's he's a scorer, and Zoe primarily actually plays off the ball. And when he is functioning as a point guard, a lot of times it's in transition with his throw ahead passes. <laughs> that development into a primary playmaker, not just a primary scorer in the half court. Did your years in San Antonio have something to do with that? For sure, no question, no question. I I, I remember um, one of our first shoot arounds with Pop. I forgot what we was playing, but Pop, we were going through shoot around, and Pop, out of nowhere, just said, "Demar's the point guard," and I said, "I was like, what do you mean I'm the point guard?" Like, said so you. He's the point guard. And from then on, I was the point guard for probably two months straight. And it forced me. And Pop is Pop is real big on turnovers. You better not turn the ball over or you're going to get cussed out. So it made me more conscious of understanding the right play, understanding who I'm on the floor with, what they can and cannot do, where they like to catch the ball, where they need the ball. And it kind of broke the game down for me in a in a simpler manner to understand, you know, my passing lanes, how to get guys the ball. And over over my first year in San Antonio, I got more and more comfortable with it. Um, and it just carried on from there. We we hype Zach up a lot on this show. Did you realize before you play with him how like skilled he actually is? Yeah, that was and that was one thing that was big for me wanting to play with Zach because Zach is one of those guys to where he don't get his just due. Like I, 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 I believe he should. He's top five, top ten talent in our league with with the things he's able to do. It's nothing he he cannot do. Athletically, he's one of the, the best athletes in our league. He can shoot the ball from anywhere, get to the basket. It's everything he could do in it. And when you look at it and you realize, like, damn, this year was his first year getting to the playoffs, you know. And, and you know, you got to give him credit, you know, for the last couple of years, you know, he wasn't on the greatest of teams. So uh, I was a big advocate on just wanting to see him be successful and get the recognition that he deserved because the talent that he had, the things I've seen him do in, in, in practice um, while we were scrimmaging in the games, it's, it's incredible. I tell him all the time, I'm I'm envious of so much stuff he's able to do because he make it look so easy, you know, and me just being able, able to give him whatever knowledge I can to, you know, expand his game even more and more. It's just an honor to be able to play with him. That was going to be my comment on Zach. I, I was not going to use the word envy. I was going to use the word jealousy to describe how I feel about Zach because even like his jump shot, man. Just everything. It just, just looks. It just it's looks so easy. Smooth. Just it looks so effortless. Yeah, it's everything you do. And sometimes I find myself, and when we in practice and you do certain things, I just, I sit there and just watch him because it's like, it makes no sense the guy gifted abilities that he have. Like you, it's, you can't teach what he has. Do you think he could still win the dunk contest? No question. Yes. Yes. Easy. 